guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode, f I'm about to say four, five of season three of Yuki Yuna is a Hero, so let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Gotta save the girlfriend. See, okay, hold on. I'm gonna go ahead and say something real quick. Because earlier today, while I was um, waiting for this to come out, because at the same time I had to wait until my uncle came over to mount my TV and such, um, <clears throat> I did see a picture, a new updated picture now, because at first it was just the Heroes Club and then Mibuki and her group. Then it added... Um, Togo, Sonochi, and Jin at the very beginning of it, of the front, indicating that it started with them, then continued with the Heroes Club, then Mibuki and their and her um, group, and now there's this other group featuring Yuna and like four other girls, I believe, so I'm guessing we're now possibly going into an alternate reality where... Togo is still, she still sacrificed herself for Yuna, possibly, because, I mean, because, like, we're, we're going like this with this show, and I, I'm now, like, wondering how these new girls are going to, like, connect with this story now, because I don't even know where the fuck we're going with this, but we ain't gonna know until we watch the episode. Okay, so now the spirits are here. So it had to be, um, what, a year later after the previous episode? Shit, I take that money. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> take turns. Oh, my God.
but Jesus. What's wrong? Of course. Well, I mean, you're all together. Might as well. <laughs> okay, hold up. Let me say something. What if the girls in the picture who are with Yuna at the end of that picture. Because I'm going to, um, the tweet that I tweeted out when this comes out tomorrow morning, I'm going to have that in the first comment and such. What if those girls are the people who wrote this book? That's the bridge that got destroyed, right? <clears throat> Yeah. That makes the most sense. So, of course, all five of them got to be dead, right? Oh, she pretty! Of course.
She's the only one left, right? So is that supposed to be... Yeah, it could probably be her, like, version of Mankai. Mm. Damn, she might die by the end of this. Y'all literally had just only three out of the five survived. That's so messed up. You did, but at the same time you lost. She has to be at the end of the day. She's got to be tough. Barely, but she might even die by the end of this episode. Oh. Oh.
And you would think a group like this would want to get along and everything, but then it's worse because, like, those two are dead! Oh. Well, damn. She's right. It's not all fun and games. Yeah. I know, but this is real life, right? <laughs> They're not going right. Okay, thank God. Mm. 
once again, this is too much pressure on these girls. And, of course, she about to lash out on them. Because, of course, when it's social media and how that takes a play in it. Mm. She had to. Yeah. Of course not. It's never a coincidence. Come on now. Everything all makes sense. Everything will all come up at a certain point. Okay. <sighs> Meeting the new girls. Oh my god. All five were precious in their own way but to know that two were dead. And uh, honestly, maybe even all five are dead because it's been so many years later and such. But something kind of tells me. And I th I've been thinking about this for a while. Like, since we've been going into different POVs for, like, certain episodes or for, like, an episode or two, something tells me when we get into this final battle, quote-unquote, Mibuki, um, Wakaba, and now her group, uh, our resident Heroes Club, and then I don't think they'll do Jin, but yeah, you, you made, once again, you made me cry last week. In some way, shape, or form, we're possibly going to see the spirits of girls who died in the past all come together, plus the girls who are possibly not heroes anymore. So, Wakaba, uh, Yuna herself, Gun, um, and anyone else who either didn't die, who was still currently alive, or possibly dead. Maybe. I don't really know, but like, oh. <sighs> That hurt. I was not expecting that. Like, I mean, whoa. I mean, th it, like, once again, this show gets dark, and it gets dark so fucking quickly. Like, still, this is one of the most underrated shows, and I really wish more people were watching this, especially. Because, I mean, and I kind of talked about this, like, what? Mm, God. Pfft. Two, three years ago, I believe, especially when... The se yeah, 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 I did. Especially when the second season was airing at the time for this. Oh, that was cool! <laughs> that made sense. <laughs> okay, as I was saying. So, about a couple of years ago, about maybe two, three years ago when season two was airing, um, there were people kind of really bringing this back up because, of course, this was airing and then a little bit of Magic of Akode. And people kind of wish that this show got the, you know, um, the popularity that Madoka Magica got or any type of, like, quote-unquote death game magical girl anime such. Because, of course, even till today, that is still popular as fuck. And people really like that magical girl, the magical girl genre death game or just, like, death games in general. I know one, I'm one of those people who really like the death game genre. And it's interesting, even though sometimes it can be very, like, how can you tie this up? It's very, it's very similar to how, like, some people feel about isekais in general and how they're like okay there's another new isekai coming out how the fuck are you gonna make this one different from all the others that have come before it and there's always a new different way but with this show like once again this is a very underrated show so this is kind of one of those shows that like at the time when I got recommended to watch this show from a friend because I binged season one all on Netflix and I was instantly hooked um it was just one of those shows that I was like, damn, like, this just feels like it's just still, even as of today, like, a very small group of people know about it and love talking about it and everything. But, I, I mean, going into this next episode, truly anything can happen. I would like to see another, like, flashback with Wakaba, Yuna, Gun, and the rest of the girls still dealing with the situations of now, like, with what Gun just saw. The having a Twitter and going on social media and checking like any posts and seeing people talking about them and saying, oh, well, you know, <clears throat> they're helping us, but then they're also hurting us at the same way. And to see what she might do, because it seems like she is going to lash 
off and go off on people and saying, you know what, if you <laughs> if you want to be so big and bad and, you know, talk crap, why don't you do it? Because that's what it really seems like at the end of the day. I don't know if she if we will get to see that next week, but truly anything can happen. I, I really hope that, like, the connection of um, Yuki Yuna, yeah, Yuki Yuna's connection to, I'm guessing that would be, that Yuna from the past has to be her great-great-great-grandmother. I'm guessing. Um, I'm maybe I got a feeling that those two might meet up. Maybe, just maybe. We're still on the early stages of the show for this season, so of course we gotta wait and find out. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode five of season three of Yuki Yuna as a Hero. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. Really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially out next Friday for episode six. Bye, guys.